Hey YouTube, Crobat for the win here, bringing you a battle versus Blaze King 24 on YouTube. This was an OU match. It was actually really intense because there were a lot of good and bad plays on both sides, tons of predictions. So it was for the first 30 turns or so. It was six to six. I couldn't believe it. So I am going to lead off with a Terrakian. This he's going to lead off with an Infernape. Not a good matchup because I know he's a close combat. So I'm going to switch into Gyarados, who I know can take a close combat and get off the Intimidate. Because this is my defensive Gyarados. It's my bulky Dragon Dance Gyarados. Yup, of course takes it like a champ there. Now I'm going to get some leftovers. I'm predicting him to switch here because he really has no reason to stay in. I go for a sub. I wasn't sure if Skarmory was going to be in. Unfortunately, he does send Skarmory in, so it's kind of a wasted sub. I'm just going to have to go for the Waterfall just to get some negligible damage. He's, he's going to go for the Whirlwind. Alright, that's kind of just sad. But, I am going to get Whirlwinded into Rotom, which is awesome, because... Well, Rotom has the Volt Switch and the Hydro Pump to at least do major damage. Here, I go for the Hydro Pump because I predicted Landorus because I thought the Volt Switch would be obvious and he'd go into that, but Chansey is another good switch. So I didn't predict it. I wish I went for the trick there, because then that thing would have been crippled so badly. Ah, well. So I'm going to go into Caesar. This is my bulky Swords Dance Caesar. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Swords Dance. He does send in Skarmory, which is kind of really bad, so it wasn't the best play on my part, but I make up for that by making a great play this turn. Well, decent play anyways. I go for the Bug Bite on this Skarmory, predicting him to go for the Whirlwind, so I got some damage off on it for free, as he goes for a Whirlwind, and I get Whirlwinded into Latios here, which isn't the worst thing to be Whirlwinded into. He's going to switch out and go into Chansey. I wish I predicted that. I could have gone for the Psy Shock. Oh well, I go for the Surf, so I thought he'd go into... <clears throat> I thought he'd go into Landorus or something else like that. Sadly, that's not the case. Now... He goes for the soft boiled, which is going to restore his health. And that's really sad because I worked hard to bring that thing down to half health. Oh well. Anyways, he predicts my trick like a champ, and then I get his choice scarf as he gets mine. And <laughs> now I'm sad because now I'm locked into it and I have to switch. So I go into Gyarados, get the Intimidate off on this Landorus. Maybe it doesn't need it, it's probably a special variant, because most are, but it certainly can't hurt. Now, because I can hit it with a super effective waterfall, I know he's going to switch. This time, I'm going to switch, predicting Skarmory, and I'm going to go into Donphan, who's a great check to Skarmory. Donphan can't hit Skarmory, but it can set off Stealth Rocks and Rapid Spin, so it's a good check to it. Anyways, he knows that it's a good check, and he thinks he can get a leg up and try to hit it with Keldeo. And I get to sell up my rocks in the process. I'm pretty okay taking a Hydro Pump since I have Sturdy, and that's why I stayed in here. Worked out pretty well, because I he ends up predicting my switch into something else. And he goes for Hidden Power. It's not super effective, so I'm thinking it's either Dark or Ghost. So maybe he was predicting that... I thought at the time he was predicting a switch into Latios. And I predicted him to switch there, because he's no reason to go for it again. So I went for the Rapid Spin, and I got a crit, which was like, wow. that's That just pretty much ruined the game. Not really. So I'm just going to switch out. I'm going to go into Rotom, hoping that I can get a Volt Switch or something on it, but nope, he goes for a Whirlwind. So he's going to Whirlwind me out to Caesar, and that's kind of the worst thing to be Whirlwinded into, since I can't hit this thing at all. I have to switch again. I'm going to go into Rotom again, hoping he goes for the Spikes this time. Thankfully he does. That is pretty okay, since I can go for the Rapid Spin again if I have to. I know he's going to switch here, and he goes into Landorus. So he predicts again, <laughs> he predicts I go for the Volt Switch. And of course, then I predicted him to switch again, predicting my switch, so I go for the Volt Switch again. And that was just really sad. So he pretty much out-predicted me twice there. That was a kudos to that guy. Now, I'm going to intimidate Landorus and send in Gyarados, because I know that I can take a Focus Blast, and I'm predicting this thing to be Scarfed. Just the way by the way he's playing it. So yeah, uh, he's gonna switch out and go into Skarm. I know that I could go for the waterfall on the switch. Even if he stays in, it'll do a nice chunk or probably even take it out. But 
even a Skarmory does at least a little bit of damage. Now here I'm going to actually go for the bounce, because I'm like, oh, I can get Leftovers Recovery, and you know, why not? Maybe I'll get a Paralyze in the Skarmory. But no, he goes for the Roost, so I cry. And I digress. But then Bounce misses, so I digress again. So he goes for a Spike, so I'm like, that was dumb. <laughs> That was just completely dumb. But at least I got a little of leftovers recovery. I guess that wasn't too bad. Anyways, I'm going to go into Dawn Fan, because it's about, about half health and should still be able to check Skarmory well. Except he goes for the Whirlwind. Then I get taken or blown into Terrakian. That's not the worst, because I predicted him to go for the Whirlwind again, predicting me to switch. So I go for the Close Combat on it, which does about half. And I knew he'd go for the Whirlwind, so that was a great play on my part. Now I'm going to get Whirlwinds into Rotom, unfortunately for him. Now we're in that position again. What's he going to do? Well, he predicts like a pro again, and I go for the trick again. Which was really sad, because I thought he'd predict that. I mean, not predict that. And he said at least once during this battle, he was going to go into Chansey or something else that doesn't have a scarf. But he kept going for it, and I guess it paid off for him. Anyways, he goes for the hidden power again, predicting my switch into not Dawn Fan, I guess. And I'm just, I have to go for this. I'm just gonna bank on the fact that this is hidden power dark. And, would you, what do you know? It's hidden power dark. So I get a justified boost, and Terrakian is just about to have a field day. I mean, a field day, because I'm just gonna set up that rock polish so I can outspeed any scarfers on his team, and then just run through his team with close combats. Look at this, I just punched this pink Chansey thing, and it's dead. Look at that, Terrakian is just a monster. And by the way, I figured out who the boss is on who's the boss. It is obviously Samantha Maselli. Just look at that, Samantha Maselli is just running through this guy's team. So, close combat is going to KO Tyranitar, because he set it up. I mean, he sent it in just to get Life Orb recoil. And, as I was saying, forget Angela Bauer, forget Tony. Sam is the boss on who's the boss. I figured it out. So he goes into Landorus and goes into Keldeo again because he knows that he can't outspeed or anything. He's just trying to get Life Orb recoil on this thing. Because obviously it's going to be KO'd eventually. I think I can get two more hits off. So I'm just going to go for the close combat to KO Skarmory here. Here he's going to go into Landorus. And I'm like, I don't want to miss a Stone Edge. I really don't. So I'm just going to go for the Close Combat and pray that it KOs. And it does. So that was good. Terrakian, good job. You win. You just wanted life, basically. And I I, I just think, wow. I, that was the first time I ran that Terrakian set, too, and it worked so well. Anyways, I know he's just Infernape left, so I'm just going to go into Dawn Fan and go for a nice shard. I mean, I just let him KO some of my Pokemon. I didn't want to rub it in, you know, I just wanted to make the match closer, so I decided I'd let him KO some stuff, including the Caesar. I could have sent in Gyarados, got the Intimidate off, and KO'd it with a Waterfall, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be that guy. So I'm just going to go for Bullet Punch with Caesar and just let Recoil almost take him down, which is just fine, because I'm just going to go into Latios to take Flare Blitz, or get an attack off, but he's Scarfed, so get an attack off. And that'll just KO himself. So that was a pretty intense game, Blaze King 24s. Quite interesting because the first 30 turns were spent 6 to 6. I thought the match would never end. Not even kidding. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. So be sure to check his channel out because he uploads Pokemon battles and stuff. He. I think he's also going to upload his version of this match eventually, so you might want to see if he has that. So that's pretty much it. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and peace out.